to all Dharma brothers and sisters throughout the world, I would like to extend my very warm greetings and best wishes on this very auspicious occasion of the Vaisak month. As now we are approaching the Vaisak month, I would like to extend, explain how important it is Vaisak month, or in the Tibetan we call it Sakadawa, is the month where our great Lord Buddha uh, was born and also entered into the Mahapari Nirvana and also uh, attaining enlightenment and also renounced the, the worldly life. So, as I said, many, many uh, very important events are all happening during this month. So, therefore, during this month, it is very important that we must make a, a, every effort to abstain from the non-virtuous deeds and to practice the virtuous deeds and to accumulate the merits. The reason why that we, it is so important to accumulate the merits is that uh, <coughs> human beings and animals, everybody, whether you are a believer or non-believer or whether you are human beings or non-human beings, everybody wishes to be free from suffering. No one wants suffering. And everybody wish to accomplish happiness. But uh, although we make every effort to accomplish happiness, but the real happiness we could not accomplish unless we attain the liberation and enlightenment. So our ultimate goal is to attain the full enlightenment for the benefit of all sentient beings. To do that, you need to accumulate a lot of merits and also wisdom. The enlightenment is accomplished just like the birds fly in the sky with the two wings, that we also need both the method and wisdom. The method side is the, the, to accumulate the merits. And there are lots of uh, uh, ways to accumulate the merits, uh, such as like making offerings to the noble ones and uh, giving uh, alms to the needy ones and to save lives and etc. And then also to allow like, doing prostrations, accumulations, and I said that there are many, many different activities, physical activities and verbal activities such as the recitation of the prayers, recitation of the mantras, etc. All of this is, of course, a great way to accumulate the merits. But the most important merit, most effective way to accumulate the merits is to create the enlightenment mind. And this enlightenment mind rises out of love and compassion. Love means that just like every mother loves their child. So we also want every sentient being to be happy and to be with the cause of happiness. And the compassion means means uh, to protect from the suffering of uh, samsara, uh, any kind of suffering, anybody who, that who you, you see, anyone who is physically or mentally suffering, to protect them is the way to accumulate, the, uh, the, the, to, to, uh, the, to create the compassion. <laughs> so, so therefore, the compassion is very, very important. 
in the beginning and in the meantime and in the, uh, in the final stage also. The compassion is the most important thing. And this, we all have a certain amount of compassion uh, when we see somebody who is uh, uh, suffering, we all have uh, some feelings to save them from the suffering, uh, some kind of feelings. And so this, uh, but at the moment what we have the compassion is only limited. But what we need is, uh, we need the compassion to all sentient beings, irrespective of the, those that whom you know, those who you don't know, those, those who are near, those who are distant, every sen sentient being, friends and enemies, everybody, without any exception, we, we want everybody because, because we believe in uh, rebirth. This is not the only life that we have. We had innumerable lives from the beginning last time until now that we have so many lives. And also in the, in the future also, unless then we attain the enlightenment or the, the liberation or the enlightenment, we continue to have the lives. So, so in this way that life goes around, uh, around and around. And so every sending being is related to us due to the change of life that we could not recognize each other, and we see some as a friend, some as enemies, some as indifferent. But in reality, every sentient being, including <coughs> uh, our most hated enemies, are uh, also our very dear mother and father and so on. And so therefore we must generate compassion to all sentient beings to be free from suffering and the cause of suffering. And then when you have a real, genuine compa compassion, from there it rises the bodhicitta. Bodhicitta means the, the enlightenment mind, which means to attain the full enlightenment for the sake of all sentient beings. To save one kind of disease, one kind of uh, suffering, if you could uh, remove, of course you can get enormous amount of merits. But if you save all sentient beings from all forms of sufferings, then how much merit you can get. And so therefore it is very, very important to generate a compassion. And so generating the compassion is the most effective way to accumulate the merits. So during this month, whatever virtues, whatever virtues deeds that we practice, it multiplies to hundreds and thousands and thousands of times. And uh, so therefore we must not waste our time and we must make every effort to be free from the non-virtuous deeds. Non-virtuous deeds means the, the deeds that came from uh, defilements like desire, anger, ignorance, etc. And so those things physical, physically, verbally and mentally the non-virtuous deeds that we must try to abstain. And, and also I strongly advise during this month that we must abstain from eating any meat uh, or related, meat related food. Uh, so to be a vegetarian during this month is of course is a great way to act as a com compassion in action. Compassion, we talk about compassion and we generate compassion, but the main thing is that we have to put it in, in action. In action. Then, of course, it is a great way to... Uh, to uh, so, so therefore, we must uh, make the every effort 
to generate the, the compassion during this month. And plus, of course, every, every uh, virtuous deed that we can do, uh, whatever, like, as I said, like doing prostrations, and circumambulations, making offerings, giving alms, protecting needy ones, helping those who are, who are in, in trouble, etc. Of course, those also, there's a great may, way of doing it. That, so the main thing is, and so in this way, if you, if you have enough merits to accumulate, then the, the wisdom also can arise. The wisdom and uh, uh, merits are, depend on each other. So if you have enough merits, then you are also nears to understand the wisdom. Wisdom is, of course, difficult to understand. Wisdom means actually the ultimate truth of all phenomena. There are many different schools that describes the, the truth, but the ultimate truth is what we have, what we call Mademika or the middle way schools by the great master uh, Nagarjuna has explained. And there he said, all phenomena are emptiness. So in other words, emptiness does not mean just empty, but it is a way from all ways of description. Reality, ultimate reality is beyond speech, beyond description, beyond uh, and so with that, and so with that, merits on one side to, to accumulate the merits, and another side the wisdom, and do together, then we can attain the enlightenment. If we could attain the enlightenment, of course, that is the the greatest achievement. That is the greatest thing that we could do, and uh, even just to. Ha the dream, or even just to think about attaining the enlightenment has a great merits. And so during this month, I also appeal to everybody that uh, there are many, many Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, uh, and they all are the same, they all have no difference. But some Buddhas that we have a karmic connection, during this uh, during this eon, there will be a thousand Buddhas. Our present Buddha is the Shakyamuni Buddha, the fourth Buddha. And he is our Lord, he is our refuge, he is our protector. So we must make uh, every effort to, have a, to generate a great devotion and faith and uh, to the Buddha, the Lord Buddha. So during this month, as I already explained to you, how important month this month is, because it is the month that all the Buddha's great activities uh, uh, occur during this uh, perform during this month. So during this month, whatever merits that we make, it multiplies to millions and millions of times. So. So uh, I appeal to everybody to make the every effort to to accumulate the merits, and then also to remember the Buddha and his great activities. The Buddha's qualities, there's no limit. The birds fly in the sky, not because there's no enough space to, to fly, but due to the exhaustion of their own strength, they return. Similarly, anyone who just try to describe the Buddha's qualities, due to the lack, due to the exhaustion of one's own efforts, they, they end. Otherwise, Buddha's qualities, that there is no, uh, there's no limit, there's no end. The Buddha's quality, qualities, no matter how many eons and eons we describe, that it, 
it does not even re reduce uh, not only ends but only reduce so the buddha's qualities have no uh, limits and uh, so the buddha's great these great qualities that we must remember and then also to recite the buddha's mantras la te yatha om muni muni ma muni shakya muna soha this is a very important mantra to recite during this month and so with the that that we must make the every efforts physically verbally and mentally to have the great merits so that we can purify our negative deeds and also to accumulate the great merits during this month and so i wish everybody to have a great success in your spiritual uh, endeavor May the blessings of the Lord Buddha, Dharma and Sangha be with you now and always. Thank you.